I have an obsession of sorts. Most people try to deny that they have an obsession, but I admit to mine fully. It isn't one of the normal obsessions, one of the everyday compulsions that we all have in some form, like cleaning everything or making sure that every picture is straight. No, it's nothing like that. You see, the unusual thing about my obsession is that mine is not irrational or purposeless. No, my obsession stands right beside my basic need to survive. I have an obsession with shutting doors. Go ahead. Laugh. You wouldn't think that shutting the door is all that important, would you? No. No, you wouldn't. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Wasting a little air conditioning, letting in a bug or two, right? Wrong. Think about why we created doors. Think about why we have them. It's not to keep things in. Not so much as trying to keep them out. For me, for my safety and my sanity, the door doesn't have to be locked. No, that part isn't so important. But all doors, every door, everywhere has to be shut. It has to be shut because of what's trying to get me. What's trying to get inside. It will come through the smallest crack, the tiniest flaw in how I've closed it. For that I check and double check. It's only to keep me alive. My family can never understand. They think I'm crazy already. But I know, I know that it's all the proof I need. An invisible horror trying to pass my doors to get me put in an asylum so I can't tell them. But you know, Maybe an asylum wouldn't be so bad. I bet they always shut their doors there. But no. I can't give anyone, least of all my tormentor, the satisfaction of knowing that I've lost. As long as I'm free, even if I'm the only one who knows, I still have a chance at victory. So I'll keep my mouth shut. Even though nobody would believe me if I told them. You don't, I can tell. I can see you now, sitting there at your computer, smiling and laughing, telling yourself you won't let a sight full of silly, scary stories get to you. The internet is such a funny place. But this is real, every word. And now, I tell you my little secret. And as you read this, I'm freed. Even if you do not believe, this passes him on to you. Yes. He's leaving me now. I'll never have to hear his incessant, mocking tapping on my carefully shut door. A tapping only I can hear. He's gone from my life. He torments you now. Can you hear it? Yes. He's knocking on your door. I know you can hear him. Knock, knock. Thank goodness you closed your doors. You did, didn't you? All of them? I hope for your sake you did. Have fun with my little friend. And remember, shut the door.